Hello YouTube, it's me, John Avenger, once again, and welcome back to Franchise Month. And this time I'm doing a Mario-themed, uh, you know, not movie, but a TV show that came out in the early 90s. It came out when the when the game Super Mario World came out. That This is the movie, the cartoon that came out in 1991. It was the third animated series based on Mario, because you had the Super Show in the 80s, then you had Mario 3 in 1990, and then you had this one. The animation was provided by Pacific Rim Productions, and that is Super Mario World. Yeah, the Super Mario World cartoon. This is a cute cartoon. I don't think it's as good as the, the Super Show or even Mario 3, but it's it's cute for kids. You know, I, I, the voice actors are different than in, in the last cartoon, mostly, because uh, Danny Wells and, and Lou Albano didn't come back to voice Mario and Luigi, but they sound good enough. Uh... It doesn't have the live action segments, it's just the cartoon, and then the Captain and the Game Master, which I was not a big fan of. And, uh, yeah, the series... Toad is not in this in this cartoon. Toad is completely absent in the series, because he was in the Mario th uh, World game, for some reason. They didn't bring back Toad until, like, Mario 64, I think? Yeah, and Mario Kart 64. Instead, they have a character that's not even from the games named Ubtar. He's a clumsy uh, cave boy. Yeah, there's cave people in this version that are, you know, they say Ooga Booga and all that. And uh, Yoshi is t talks in this version. And he's he voice, his voice is um, it's like, kind of like a baby language, but he's cute. I think Yoshi's cute. I didn't see this cartoon as much in the, when I was a kid, but I love Mario, so I had to review something of Mario this month since, you know, he's my favorite video game character. And... My favorite video game franchise of all. And you can see this movie for this show for free. It's on 2B. It's on Amazon Prime. You can find it easily. I think they have, have episodes on YouTube as well. I like the theme song. Super Mario. Super Mario World. <laughs> Super Mario World. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Very colorful. It's also You can also available to stream it on Paramount Plus as well. So there's plenty of places you can find it to stream without any major problems. And uh, also, I like that, you know, it, it says in 2017, 2027, 227 animators collaborate to reanimate Mama Luigi in their own styles. Each of them, 255 total scenes feature a unique animation. It was dedicated to the memories of Canadian actors Tony Rosado and Harvey Atkin, who voiced Luke Martin Lu Luigi and King Koopa, respectively. Yeah. Because uh, they passed away. But yeah, the cartoon is cute. The animation is, is you know, limited. It's not like, you know, like the, the, the 2023 movie. That animation is way better. And there's no Toad, but it's cute. It has a lot of references to the game, the sound effects, the music, the characters, the look of it. And uh, it's, it's fun. If you've never seen it, the episodes are only 11 minutes long. They're not going to take too much time. I think that it's it's adorable. And uh, for Mario, yeah, it's something that I treasure. You know, it's, it's got some nostalgia for me since I love the cartoon, the game so much. Mario World was a huge part of my childhood that I still play to this day. And uh, it is what it is. It's about 10 episodes long, so it's not it's not going to take too much time. But it is a franchise, so it was worth reviewing. Because, I, you know, I think it's it's cute and, and entertaining for kids. It's a bit more for a younger audience. Remember that when you see it. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll keep this one short, acknowledge me, and I'll see you guys in the next review.